10 operator clean kills while prone with recommended marksman or sniper rifles in Modern Warfare 3. You need to use a recommended marksman rifle or sniper rifle, but please just use a marksman rifle. It'll make it easier, okay? Just use a weapon that has the fire symbol next to it, aka KVD or the CAR-98. You get the point. For the attachments, that's really up to you. We're going to be playing hardcore. Now, if you don't know how to go prone, you know what you don't know what that means. All it does, all it means is you just lay down like this and you get kills like that. Okay? Nothing crazy. Just be laying down. Clean kills. We'll go over that in just a second. All right, so for strategy, super simple. I recommend going to hardcore specifically for one single reason. Clean kills are when you kill an enemy before they damage you. So in hardcore, every kill you get will be a clean kill. And remember, you need to be prone as I'm showing here. But I'm killing two birds with one stone. I am laying down like that. And every kill I get is a clean kill. And you only need to get 10 kills. Super, super easy. Not hard at all. If you need more help, let me know. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. What's going on, everyone? I'm going to teach you guys how to get the 20 operator long shot kills with a recommended assault rifle set to full auto mode in Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to show you how to complete this in just one, two games. Super, super simple. First of all, you must use a recommended assault rifle and it must be full auto. Okay, so you can either use the Holger, MTZ or BAL. You cannot use the FR because that is a burst fire. Okay, Holger is a full auto weapon, so you should be good to go there. If you want to copy my class setup, I highly recommend you play Hardcore, which I'll show you gameplay of. And if you do, I highly recommend this 4.0X. It's a great magnification that helps you see at longer range. Copy the class setup, boop the like button, and subscribe if you haven't yet, because like 85% of you still aren't subbed. Why? And then Field Upgrade. I highly recommend Deployable Cover. You can hide behind it. That'd be very useful. Full Auto. If you don't know what Full Auto means, I've already explained it. Just to show you, it's literally just shooting like that. That's it. Single Fire Mode would be something where you have to just tap every time full auto is just holding it down all right super simple now i'm going to show you gameplay like i said i highly recommend you play hardcore 100 i tried doing hardcore regular maps but honestly i recommend small map mosh pit playing on dos haws but i'm going to show you two different ways you can do this if you need more help let me know down below and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye What's up everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to get the 12 operator kills with a silenced weapon while prone in Modern Warfare 3. Now, simple enough, you do not have to use a recommended weapon, but I do think you should just in case the game is buggy, okay? Now, it's up to you if you want to combine this with the Marksman Rifle Challenges. I think that's a great idea, but that's up to you. So for this though, pay attention, you must use a silencer, right? You must use a silencer. So that is a muzzle. Any of these that have suppressor, in the attachment name itself will work, okay? But you must have a suppressor in order for this to work. Now, the second part is to do this and get kills while prone. And prone is simply just laying down like that. That's what prone means. So very, very simple, nothing much to it. If you wanna copy my class setup, here you go. It's not the best, uh, but that's because I'm trying to combine challenges here. So copy it, boop that like button, all that good stuff. And I'm just gonna play some clips of how I did it. If you need any help, let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe because 85% of you don't. Please. Okay, bye. What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to teach you guys how to get the 20 operator kills with sights equipped to a recommended SMG in Mono for 3. Now I've literally done the same exact challenge back in Season 3, Week 7. It was literally the same exact challenge, instead that challenge was 25 kills. So I'm essentially going to be playing that video right now after this. Why make another 
whole brand new video for the same exact challenge. All right, if you need any help, let me know down below. Always here for you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to sub if you haven't, because 85% of you still aren't sub. But anyways, good luck. Have fun. Let me know if you need help. Bye-bye. I recommend either playing hardcore small map mosh pit, 10v10 mosh pit, or the regular small map mosh pit in the core playlist. Either one of those, just so you can maximize interactions, which means you get more kills and you get the challenge done faster. For the weapon class setup, you need to use a recommended SMG. You guys know that fire symbol above the name. So any of those SMGs with a fire symbol above the name, whenever you're playing, whenever you're watching this video, that's what you need to use. Now for me, I chose the Ram 9 because it's my favorite. You know, pick what you want. Here's my class setup, but you must, you must have a sight equipped, which means you must have an optic equipped. I don't know why they just don't say optic equipped. I, I don't know. Okay. Choose whatever optic you want, whatever you're most comfortable with. You actually don't even need to get kills with the optic or while you're aimed in. You just need to have it equipped on your class. All right. So here's my class setup. Copy it if you want. And like I said, you literally don't even need to get kills with the optic. You could literally hit fire. You could get regular kills. Doesn't matter. Just get 25 kills. Okay. Now that's, it, it's as simple as that. All right. I'm just going to play clips. You guys don't need commentary. Just get 25 kills. If you guys need help, let me know down below. Make sure to hit that like and sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. What's up everyone, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get the 15 operator kills after reloading with recommended battle rifles in Modern Warfare 3. One simple game, nice and easy. In order to do this, first off, you need to use a recommended battle rifle. That's either the MTZ or the Baz B. I highly recommend the MTZ because that is the faster reloading weapon. And you can also decrease the magazine so you can get some reload increase. Sorry, my camera's blocking it, but you do get faster reload, all right? This is the rest of the class setup if you wanna copy it. Pause the video, screenshot, boop that like button if you find these useful. The essential strategies, we're just going to do something like this. We're literally just going to shoot one bullet, reload, and then we're just going to kill people. It's it's just that shoot, reload, and then go back to it. Same thing. All right. Nice and easy. Now, I do recommend playing hardcore personally because we have less bullets. So I recommend playing hardcore small map mosh pit. That's up to you. You could play... 12v12, you can play whatever you want. Now, I've actually already done this same exact challenge in the past many times for ARs, SMGs, etc. So I'm going to play those pre-recorded commentaries over this video, but just keep in mind you're using a battle rifle instead. All right, if you need help, let me know. Make sure to like and sub, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. All right, everyone, now this is actually very, very simple. The only thing I can really recommend is that when you think you're about to be in a gunfight, just empty some rounds out of your magazine, reload, and just try and kill someone as fast as possible, like I did here. But I missed some bullets, so you didn't see that, of course. But the reload time to then kill someone is actually very, very lenient. So do not worry about, you know, going too crazy with it has to be like right after, right after. As long as you just reload and probably within like maybe five seconds you get a kill, I think it'll register. So don't worry about it too much. Don't go too crazy with it. It's fairly lenient. I highly recommend playing hardcore. doesn't really matter which maps you play, but of course, if it's small maps, you'll get this done quickly. And I actually completed this challenge like way before I even showed you those Dawes House clips because I was just actually doing other challenges for the week and I accidentally picked up someone's gun and completed the challenge. So uh, here it is, but... This one, you could see the timing of it was very, very lenient, but it shouldn't be too hard. If you guys need help, let me know down below. All right, YouTube, if you are struggling with the 10 operator hipfire kills with either recommended marksman rifles or recommended sniper rifles, this is the video for you. So first of all, I highly recommend you use a recommended marksman rifle. That's either the Lockwood MK2 or the KVD Enforcer. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So if you have the Lockwood MK2 and you 
have the Jack Wardens from Season 3, Week 8, which makes the gun an akimbo and makes you have two Lockwood MK2s, I would highly recommend you do this. Highly, highly recommend you do this. You have akimbos. All those kills you get with the Kimbos are hip fire kills. Super, super easy. However, if you do not have that, I do have a class for you. The KVD Enforcer, the other recommended marksman rifle. Please copy these attachments. Focuses on sprint to fire speed. ADS speed does not matter because we're hip firing. Focuses on hip fire accuracy, all that sort of stuff. Pause the video, click that like button, screenshot, all that good stuff if you find these useful. What game mode you should play? What game mode you should play? I highly recommend you play hardcore. That's really up to you. I just recommend playing small map mosh pit in core or hardcore, even 12v12, so you have more engagements to get more kills and get the challenge done faster. I mean, that's really it. That's, that's really it. I'm gonna show you some gameplay. If you need help more in depth, please let me know down below because you know I always respond to your comments. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hit that sub button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.